Hassa oasis of Saudi Arabia might be the largest oasis in the world. You can imagine as the ancient caravans might have passed through here, the relief they felt as they emerged from the vast inhospitable desert. The dates from the date palms would have been a real treat. People would have traded goods, news and enjoyed a drink of the abundant fresh water Al Hassa is well known for. They might have brought silver or brass coffee pots to sell at their next stop. They might have traded the locals for wool, silk and cotton so they could make their textiles. The cities of Hafuf and Mubaraz and about 40 small villages are located on the edge of this beautiful oasis with an overall population of over 1 million people. Although Al Hassa is primarily Shia, the city of Hafuf is a mixed city with both Sunni and Shia Muslims living together. Although more recent politics in the world would again be creating a divide between the Sunni and the Shia population, many of the Shia and Sunnis in Hafuf grew up as friends and neighbours and went to the same schools and played together. This area is a major agricultural, educational and cultural centre for Saudi Arabia. Women, separate from men, are also allowed to study at this university. The university is known for agriculture, veterinarian medicine, medicine, dentistry and home economics. We met a man from Southeast Asia as we walked the streets. We asked him if he was a Muslim or Hindu. He said, neither, I am a Christian. He was told before coming not to bring his Bible. He had now lived in the city for two years without a Bible or any fellowship. We prayed a prayer of blessing over him and told him we would try to get a Bible for him in his own language. I'm 